Hey guys, it's Ronan8675309 here, and today we're going to do a playthrough of the American Matt Brawler's Weekend Warzone vo video game for the uh, PX Cube Zero. Came out a few years ago, you probably saw it. Thought it'd be fun to jump in, try it out. I'm going to start out with a tournament to establish a Federation Champion, and then I'll probably do a uh, season playthrough. And if you enjoy it, I uh, might do some more in the future. This is part one. There's going to be more parts coming. So uh, hang in there and check it out. And of course, as always, like, subscribe, share, and leave some comments if you like what you see. And uh, let's get into it. Greeting fans and welcome to American Matt Brawler's Weekend War Zone, the video game. I am Corporal Punishment, and joining me as always is my partner at the announcer's booth, Mr. Lucifer. Mr. Lucifer, tonight, this player is going to plunge into the depths of American Matt Brawler's, taking on all comers, and rest assured, every competitor is top tier. You look at games like chess, checkers, battleship, batgammon even. It is technique and skill that gets you through all those games. Live from Louisville, Kentucky, the River City, American Matt Brawlers presents River City Riot. Join competitors from throughout the AMB as they battle in a no-holds-barred Extreme Rules tournament to determine the AMB Heavyweight Champion. No hold is off-limits, no weapon is off-limits. In this tournament, anything goes until one warrior walks out of the carnage and claims that title belt. Now, here are your commentators for the evening. Corporal Punishment and Mr. Lucifer. Welcome, fans, to the River City Riot. Bracketology, if you will. We're going to be going through all of the matches in the River City Riot tournament to crown the AMB American Map Brawlers champion. And as always, with me, Corporal Punishment, who punishes his liver every single night because he's an alcoholic. Well, I'm sorry, did I say that correctly? Mr. Lucifer, let's be clear. You are indeed nefarious, and you are one of the darkest of the people we have working <laughs> here. Uh, Thank you. And the densest. So, let's take a look at the bracket, as you said, of the River City Riot. Up here at the very top, you can see the Chris Pool has got himself a buy rolling into the second round. Uh, that may come into play. Chris Poole is an unorthodox competitor. Uh, one would say a little bit off of his nut. Is he, is he a comic book character? Is he a wrestler? I don't know. I think he's a nice little, little combination of both. I'm really looking for him to go far in this tournament. Well, with a buy going into the second round, that's very, very possible. 
So without any further ado, why don't we take a listen to see what Chris Poole has to say about his chances in this tournament. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, when am I going to get to wrestle? I get to watch everybody else wrestle. Good thing they got a lot of video games in here, you know. I'm not very good at them either, but, but you know, we're here for one thing, one thing only. And that's the kick ass. And that's what I tend to do. So I wonder who my, my opponent. Hmm. Well, either way, they're getting beat down. Because my manager told me what's going to happen. Oh shit, I wasn't supposed to say that. In our next match, Mr. Lucifer, we have Slim Vader going up against Dick Fitzwell. Your thoughts? Slim Vader, I've heard really good things about. He's the beast from the southeast, or wherever he's from, I don't care. And then you have Dick Fitzwell. Wow. But he is confident, and I do enjoy confidence in a person. What have you heard about these two individuals? Slim Veda is, is again, he's unknown quantity. He's a man of, man of mystery, and he rolls in here. A, 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 very, a lot of masked men in the River City Riot, and again, you have to, you have to wonder, what's he hiding? Shame. Could be hiding some shame, could be hiding some unbridled rage, but he's gonna be taking whatever he's got out on the man named Dick Fitzwell. Now, Dick Fitzwell, fans, if you're from local, Louisville, Kentucky, uh, you might be familiar with Dick Fitzwell's uh, gently previously used smooth rides, I believe is what he called it. Something along the lines of, of is it a car, is it a fuck? We don't know. Right. But uh, if you are looking, uh, currently for a new set of wheels or, or perhaps a, a backdoor man. Dick Fitzwell is your man. Uh, you know, look him up on the Googles or the Yellow Pages if you happen to be old as shit. Regardless, one of these men will be facing off against the winner of Dead Mike and Evil Dr. Butt. One has to keep his eyes peeled for this match. One can only imagine the violence that's going to come out of it. So without further ado, fans, let's get to the action. So, American Map Brawlers, I came in, I told you that I was going to be going for the gold. Here I am, going for the gold against some guy named Dick Fitzwild. I don't even know this guy. But you know what? He's going to be just another victim on that road to glory, on that strap going on my arm. He's just going to be another fallen warrior that I take out with the love tap because he has no idea what's in store for him. He has no idea how much pain, how much aggression I'm gonna let in on him. I've been waiting a long time to be part of American Map Brawlers, and I swear I'm gonna take every opportunity and I'm gonna crush it, just like I wanna crush you, Dick Fitzwild. So, here we are. First round, and I got Slim Vader. I don't know who you are, but I can tell you this. Up against Dick Fitzwell, <laughs> you got a slim chance. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you bring to the table, because I'm bringing the entire arsenal. You're going to feel the thrust of Dick Fitzwell tonight. And you're just going to be the first, that's right, the first in a long line of stepping stones that Dick Fitzwell just climbs to the top on. No disrespect, Slim Vader. You drew the unlucky number. And tonight, after the facial, you're just gonna have to wipe yourself up on the floor and try again tomorrow and call me Chin. It's the way it is. Mm. Dick Fitzwell, mm. out. Mm. 
Welcome, my minions. We're already starting off the action tonight at the River City Riot on this Saturday night. Because, you know, I had nothing better to do. We're coming to you live from the Louisville Rec Center and Stables. Horse Stables. So you know it smells like shit. Actually, that actually might be my color man that smells of shit. How you doing tonight, Corporal? Well, first off, I'd like to say that you can feel free to kiss my corporal ass. Uh, I am doing well, Miss Lucifer. I got my uh, my co-host uh, that I would take over you any day is called Wild Turkey. And most of the bottle is gone, but uh, there's still enough, I think, to get me through the next several matches. And if there's not, I've got a handful of pills in my pocket. So tell us a little bit about who's fighting currently. Uh, masked Man and Sexy Pants will be who I'll be referring to them as. Uh, do you have any information on these gentlemen? I do, and you speak about Wild Turkey whooping your ass. That's exactly what Dick Fitzwell, the Sexy Pants, all we've got to cover. Oh, that's... Yeah, oh! So barely a kick I, out. It would have been so fabulous if it was a three count, because I need to use the facilities. But it's still, Mr. Masked Man, uh, Slim Vader, I believe is his name, taking it to Dick Fitzwell. You know, Slim Vader, no one knows much about this Masked Man. Looks like he weighs in at about 27 to 30 kilograms, I think. I'm not entirely sure. What's the, what's the conversion? You've got to go with the metric system, really. Why? Slim Vader is basically what I've been told by the insiders, my The dirt minions. sheets. Is it the dirt sheets it you're is. referring to? Slim Vader is very angry, very upset, very evil, which I already have a liking for him. But right now, he's getting his ass whooped by Dick Fitzwell. Uh, yeah, Dick Fitzwell, now, explain to the fans, uh, because they may be thinking, why has the referee not counted anyone out? Well, let me explain because through my haze of alcohol and uh, illicit pharmaceuticals, I do remember the, the River City Riot, while a uh, tournament for the heavyweight title is also anything goes, uh, extreme rules, which is why you, these two competitors are being allowed to beat the piss out of each other outside the ring. And uh, there's nothing more better than that. That's the Amer that is the American dream. Exactly. What you're going to find here in American Matt Brawlers, anything goes, is uh, what's happening. Uh, Slim Vader back up. Dick Fitzwell took the long way home to get back into the ring. Probably a mistake. Might catch him, uh, Mr. Lou Heffer. Don't ever say that again. Never mess my name up. Dude, Just you're like, kind of you like are literally Slim like 6,000 years old. I am sure that getting out of the seat is probably going to be, oh, Slim Vader with a vicious neck drop back thing. Yeah, it's just it's awesome. It's just awesome to see. He's taking it to the sexy We've pants man. We've got another man. pin. Two we got two. Oh, oh no, it was counts. not even close. The sexy pants man just got too much energy. I don't think. Dick oh, a vicious well. DDT. I don't think Dick Fitzwell likes to go down very often down south, it, but we've got a pin again. It's oh, barely at the end. No, just a two counter. It seemed like Slim Vader. I, I would have to believe. Nice if spinning had, back fist. Maybe if he, maybe if he had like, oh, he's got a bat. Yes, he pulled it. it back. Oh no, oh, that was the bat did him no good. He's back up. He it's did Maraca. doggy style to him and got a bulldog going That's, there. I don't not familiar with whatever you're talking about. It's insane. Well, I'm just saying this it's, is the first match of the tournament. This is the first time these guys have actually. Dick Fitzwell in his promo was talking a lot of shit. He was, and he's delivering. I mean, look Spine at that booster. sidewalk slam. Is this vicious? Oh, puts a oh, man in stretching the him out, stretching him out with the the walls that fits well. I don't know what you would call it. Would you would you fall the with the the and, and a slim bayer just 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 tapping out, just saying, "Oh my God, my back!" Oh, and they're back to the fist. It's back and forth. It's back to the fist cuffs. Oh, what a vicious, vicious drop! I, you know, like I said, they're going to eventually finish this in the ring. The referee. He's much too out of shape, and it doesn't look like he's making an attempt to get his ass out of the ring. They're going to finish this inside. I'm just wondering why the ref. I mean, this is this is really like an extreme. Another pin. One. Another pin attempt. 
And he kicks out again. Slim Vader just can't keep Dick down. It's... Not sure what, how to respond to that, but Dick Fitzwell knows how to respond with Another kicks pain. and a beat. Look at them sexy pants. Oh, oh that is it. Oh, that Vegas. is over. That was oh, way too was quick. A, it was. He just, I mean... And now I'm, he's going after the masked ref. Well, I've always been told snitches get stitches. And that ref, I'm guessing, is why he's masked, because I guess he doesn't want to get stitches. I, but you it's know. possible he's too handsome. It's possible he's just too damn handsome. He just don't want anybody seeing his handsome face. It's a distraction. It's pretty much a distraction. And what a uncharacteristic show of sportsmanship by Dick Fitzwell towards Slim Vader. And Dick Fitzwell does advance into this tournament. us into our next match, Slayer Ginger vs. Gutter Slut. Uh, a mismatch of epic proportions. Slayer Ginger, you want to speak of people who don't want to be here. This man simply wants to float around in space and read comic books. That's it. That's as far as it goes for Slayer Ginger. That's all he wants to do. Whereas Gutter Slut, uh, he wants heat and food. And if he has to stab people with his fork to get it, then that's exactly what he's going to do in this match, by his own admission. Uh, your, your choice, your pick, Mr. Lucifer, out of these two individuals. Now, see, this is another match that I'm looking forward to. I kind of hope that both actually advance, because I'm a big fan of both. Now, Slayer Ginger being lost in space, because I've always been told, you know, when you're in space, nobody can hear you scream, and his wrench, he is already threatened to go into many orifices where that wrench does not need to go. So again, it makes me laugh being as demonic as I am. So I'm looking forward to that. Now, with Gutter Slut having a Hep A fork, which I have no idea where he got it from, as you said, he's just wanting room and board and maybe a hot middle. But if you're gonna eat everything with a Hep A fork, I just don't get it. I hope Slayer Ginger does not take much harm in this match, but I think it's going to be a knockdown drag out. And I'm kind of very interested. I'll, I'll be watching this match very closely to see who actually takes the victory. What? Who? It doesn't matter who! I don't care if it's Slay Ginger or whatever he's calling himself. I don't care if it's Chris Bull. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, when you get stabbed in the throat with a hep A fork, it's laid out. It's all over. I will crawl inside of your dead body and hug and I'll sleep for eight hours like a baby. Get away from me, cameraman. One more fucking hoop I gotta jump through. I gotta fight some dude who lets animals fuck him. I'm gonna ream his fucking face out with this wrench. Oh, here we go with match number two. We- Oh! What a nice move and a pin attempt already. This gutter slut is just wasting no time going after Slayer Ginger. Slayer Ginger, obviously, just a, a, a beast of a man, much, much larger in stature than gutter slut. Referee, you need to move that fat ass. Almost got knocked down. Nice splash in the corner. I was watching the intro before this match, and I'm waiting to see if they're gonna actually bring out a Hep Fork, the Hep A Fork, the notorious Hep A Fork. Or Slayer Ginger was talking about reaming that asshole with his it's mighty a, it's wrench. A, it's a wrench. It's a giant wrench. I would not personally want to get hit by it, but Slayer Ginger doesn't. See, a lot of fans don't realize Slayer Snake Ginger. Eyes. Snake eyes. Slayer Ginger doesn't want to be here. Slayer Ginger was happy uh, sitting up in space reading comic books uh, from what his bio says. And he just wants to get back home, back to reading comics. Uh, so willing to literally do anything 
Uh, including beat the piss out of a homeless. He's gonna beat the piss out of a homeless man. Is what he's doing tonight. Well, I'm just. I mean, who does? Oh, he's got him up for the tombstone. The the Slayer of Stone. Oh, oh, he dropped him. I mean, is he? It's an attempt. And oh, and a kick out. A I, kick, mean, I mean, just I'm just that. saying, Gutter Slut's showing me something. Uh, he's showing me how to get my ass kicked, but he's also showing me a little bit of, you know... Well, you, you have to understand, Gutter Slut's a man from the streets. He uh, he has to fight every night off, like, apparently, cannibals and uh, dogs. Right now, he's having a nice big dinner of uh, a steel ladder to his face. And his nuts. Oh, that's oh and yes, he's... I'm guessing he doesn't get a lot of use of those, though, honestly. Let's be honest. I mean, that was a nice invasive movie. He rolled out of that and then took yeah, it yeah, right, right in the dick side. Yeah, okay, it's, it's, so yeah. It's, it's Slim, uh, Gutter Slut is just, just a glutton for punishment. Uh, Slim Vader, or uh, Slayer Ginger, is uh, absolutely ready to try to get back into the ring, but he, <laughs> he did. Oh, oh, but he... Answered with a clothesline. One of my favorite moves. And now just kicking the shit out of him. He just kicking the piss. One would have to think, I mean, when he was doing the moonwalk, was he just, was he playing with Gutter Slut? Was he just taunting him like, oh, look, I can't get in the ring until the, the sad, deranged homeless man wandered over and uh, ate a vicious clothesline? Well, here's the thing. I don't know if Gutter Slut has a concussion. I don't really think he cares or even knows what a concussion is. I don't think he knows where he's at. But the kidney shots... You know, oh, I don't know how many more he can take. Now, oh, oh, what's, oh what's what that, that move? It's, it's the sweet spinning Slayer Ginger. He's not getting up. Two. Two. No. Oh, and he Slayer. kicked out. He's got life in him. He Before could. this match even started, I was looking at both of these potential minions. I don't know it's, who's going to win this match. This is one of those matches where I don't know if I can uh, declare an actual true winner. Oh. But again, oh. And we now, have the now, first oh submission. God, he's, he's trying to break a man's leg. What? What? Goes for the pin. That's smart. Only gets a one count. So Slayer Ginger still has fight in him. Which is he has. Oh, and now we're into the bear hug. So, now we have the slut hug. It, uh, is is that what it's called? I would. I talked to him earlier today. He tried to stab me, so I couldn't really get a lot out of him. You gotta watch yourself. That's true. It's Slayer, like Slayer Ginger, Ginger. I just. I don't see. I don't see him making getting out of this. I mean, for God's sake, poke a man in the eye or something, Slayer Ginger. Slayer Ginger. Internal injury. Oh, to the shin. He sh he gave him sweet shin music. It's, he's under the ring. He's pulling something. Oh my God! A baseball bat. I'm That's, waiting for the Hefe fork. Now they're playing. You know. Now there's it's just they're just it's, playing mind games with each other. It's just oh, oh my God! God. It's like a bat to the. And the next match, DJ Prime will get a bye, just as Chris Paul did, and he will move on into the second round. Now, DJ Pry uh, Prime, actually, I mean, he might be prideful, but if you've seen a promo he's done, he really doesn't want to be in this organization, because he doesn't go for... He doesn't need to prove himself, he believes. Very kind of just to himself, but I've heard a lot of good things about his his fighting talents. He's one on my radar for sure. He just, I think, has that prick kind of attitude about him. Well, to be honest, I think when it comes to DJ Prime, the, the, uh, the axiom that still waters run deep can come into play. DJ Prime, I think, has a lot of, uh, a lot of repressed rage and just ferocity and it just it simmers right under the right under the edge there right on the surface so i think getting a buy is going to be really bad news for the two individuals that uh will be combating the see who goes up against dj prime in round number two and again let's take a listen to see what dj prime thinks of his chances in the river city riot it's your boy dj prime here and it's tournament time I got a bye in the first round. It's almost like they knew the outcome before the matches were even scheduled. 
So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to watch my opponents, and I'm going to see how it plays out and see who I need to face, learn their weaknesses, learn how to overcome whatever they decide to throw at me from an offensive standpoint. Because my motto always has been, work smarter, not harder. But make no mistake, when whoever wins, whoever wins, you're going down when you face the one and only DJ Prime. Moving on to the next match, Senor Central takes on Ass Bob Silk Pants. These are going to be a, a vast a conflict of styles, do you understand? Senor Central, as we all know, spent about a decade in a coma after he took a spill during a match down in Old Mexico. Whereas Ass Bob Silk Pants uh, often does not know where he is, and it is probably due to his excessive use of the marijuana. So you have one individual who knows where he's at, what he wants, and then you have Asbob, Silk Pants, Mr. Lucifer. Your thoughts on these two competitors? This is a farce by every stretch of the imagination. I've talked to the ass Bob. He really has a yellow streak going up his back. He really just likes to run from conflict. I tried to ask him a question, he tried to offer me some drugs. But it's, it's that all being said, he makes me laugh. But I would never let him know that. This would be the first time that I ever said anything about it, and he'll probably run it into the ground like he does with most other things. Career, life, everything. Now, as far as sensuality is concerned, I've never been comatose for a decade, so I would really think that he would have an issue. Waking up being comatose for over a decade, and he gets thrown into a tournament. Well, I think Senor Sensual has a lot left in the tank, which we're going to see tonight. Chase, the River City Riot. Men, women, it does not matter. All are competing for that championing ship belt. Before a match, I always like to enjoy a little bit of the sangria. Blood, if you will. Unfortunately, my opponent, I know all too well. They call him the man in the silk pants. Eithbob is what I refer to him as. Eithbob, know that tonight you will be the first of many that I will step into the ring with. And when I'm done and the ring fills with red roses from the beautiful women who never thought they would see the sensual ones step into the ring. No, that is those red petals caress your face. You were simply beaten by not just a better man, but the man, Jace. Was no, the thing is, I like my hat. See, that's the thing. It's like it's got my, it's got the weed thing on there. Oh, I'm sorry, are we rolling? It's... It's like, what's... Is that like some kind of issue or something over here? Is that, do we need to move that? Does that need to get moved? Oh, shit! Well, don't... I should not be responsible for doing production stuff. I don't understand what the problem is. Okay, so, and so again then... Well, you, you the one that left it. I can't work under these circumstances and stuff. That's why I shouldn't have been left out there in the front. Hello. Okay, I got, I understand. Um, my name is Ask Bob Phil Pants. You probably know me from like checking out the channel and all the other uh, un, uh, sundry things that I'm involved with here. Um, I brought this. They said my hat might cause a problem and stuff. I don't really know, but I can't be bothered with it. Honestly, I don't have the emotional energy right now to deal with all this that's going on. Did you see that a second ago? That wasn't me. This place should have been set up before I even got here. I should not have to be uh, responsible for like at gaffing duties um, 
especially that that's your so this is like a trophy though it says i'm number one that's all you need to know is the deal is um they said do show up and do this thing and you might have to fight some people you know that's me i'm down since day one baby down since day one i've been fighting uh, every single day mostly running uh, I do have a bit of a cowardly streak. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've accepted that. I've owned that um, But apparently they still want me to fight some people so I mean we'll just see how it works out. I certainly need the money um, Although I was told I would just basically be working to keep my job. So there you go Is, is there any, you, anything else they need to know? Is this hat gonna show up? I mean this is my good hat. I really would, would rather not I mean, it's gonna be a problem. I, I got another one I can wear. Number one, ask Bob Phil Pants. Ah, oh, here we go. Senor Sensual going up against Ask Bob Phil Pants in this round one matchup. Oh, him and uh, you know, Mr. Lucifer, you gotta enjoy the gyrations. No, no, I don't. That oh, is, that is way too many gyrations you know, for an see, intro. Yeah. Oh, and we it's a lot. Yeah, up. it's a close up. It's not. Going away. And a lot of people don't realize this man was in a coma for like a decade. Uh, took a spill, and here he is now. He's back. He's he's doing his thing. A lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of fans are, are happy to see Senor Sensual back and doing his thing. You know, as Bob has his work cut out for him, I will absolutely tell you that in a second. Uh, so I'm like, praying right now, and I don't pray at all. I'm hoping something. Oh! Oh! oh. Richard picks out of nowhere. What is this man doing? What? Again, another, I guess, contestant for this alleged, I don't know, it might be a fabrication, but this, this hot sauce challenge. Professor Pepper has talked many people's ears off. I'm kind of sick and tired of hearing about it, how he got gypped, screwed, whatever over this hot sauce challenge. He says that he is the person who can take on anything, any task when it comes to hot stuff. Obviously, you couldn't because you didn't win. Now, he's blaming USB for fixing this hot sauce challenge and saying that it was his fault that he lost. Take some credibility. You suck and you can't. Why would you even say, name yourself Professor Pepper? This match, he needs to show me something. He needs to be, quote-unquote, hot with his moves and see if he can take out USB. Now... Your thoughts on USB in this match? Uh, USB is a marginal talent at best whenever he's hosting his show on this uh, YouTube channel he's got. However, apparently he has wrestled in the past, so we'll see if he can bring and, you know, dig down deep and pull anything from his past and bring it to this match. Uh, regardless, one of these men will be facing Mud Show Outlaw and Narcoleptic Assassin, so it's going to be interesting to see who advances. So essentially, if USB wins, he's got to buy into the third round because, again, I'm going to call it the dumpster fire from the underbelly. The American Matt Brawler's Heavyweight Title Tournament. You know, USB... You... You know, USB, I know you think you're hot stuff around A and B with your show and your little, your little vignettes and your sketches, but let me tell you something. You know what you weren't a part of? The hot sauce challenge. That was a trial by fire that Professor Pepper went through. Letting everyone else to waste. Go back and watch the footage. I destroyed everyone. And if it wasn't for you and your gimmicked, rigged 
competition. I mean, who ever heard of, of, of trivia coming into play in a hot sauce challenge? That was garbage and you know it. Well, USB, because of your meddling, because you cost me that competition, I'm walking into that ring tonight and I'm gonna cost you your shot at the American Matt Brawler's title. And it won't be trivia, and it won't be funny little jokes or some rigged up scoreboard that takes you down. Tonight, it's the three million Scoville challenge. And I'm gonna hit you with it and shoot you right down into the ground. Three million Scoville slam. Wham! That's gonna be the end of you, USB. And then you can take a hike back to your low rent, no watched joke of a YouTube show. You see, Professor Pepper, you're right. I did go back and I watched the footage of you going up against all these jabronis in a hot sauce challenge. And you did okay. But here's the funny thing about revisionist history. You didn't get the job done. As a matter of fact, we don't even ever have to have a, a mask versus mask match because you pulled yours off because you couldn't breathe. Now see, that's cool, man. I understand hot sauce, it gets up in your nostrils and it throws you off your game. But here's the thing, Professor Pepper. You don't have to worry about hot sauce tonight. You don't have to worry about Jack Sudden Death hot sauce or bullshit rattlesnake hot sauce or any of that garbage in a bottle, okay? Tonight, you gotta worry about 300 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal sitting across the ring from you. And I'm gonna slap every bit of your Scoville units out of your body. And when I leave you laying in the ring in a puddle of blood and hot sauce and whatever else you choose to bring to the ring, I want you to remember that there was probably a little bit of mercy taken on you because you're blind, but not that much because I still got to advance and I'm still going to beat you down. So I'll see you in the ring, Professor Pepper. Bring your hot sauce, bring your, your little tag team partner, bring whoever you want. At the end of the day, it ain't going to matter. See, this match is going to end just like your hot sauce challenge with you crying and beat. So I heard before this match, Professor Pepper talking a lot of shit about this hot sauce challenge that he got screwed out of. Did you ever watch it? It's captivating. It's like must-see YouTube. He's already going for a pin on USB, and he kicks it out. USB has, these, has this YouTube channel, this American Mystery Basement. I have checked out some things. I don't understand Professor Pepper's oh massive clothesline. I really don't understand his, his, you know, disagreements with USB. But hell, that's what the River City Riot is all about. If you've got beef with someone, you take it out in the ring. Extreme. Oh, what a nice backbreaker. Uh, you know, USB is not a stranger to the ring, and I think Professor Pepper might be slightly outmatched. This is not a hot sauce challenge. No one's bringing a tray of wings for you to shove down your gullet. A man's bringing pain. Oh, and right there, USB showing Professor Pepper exactly what... Oh, my God! Just smashing the head. I love it. It's, it just, I mean... Ruthless aggression by a man in an American mask. And speaking of the mask, I think everyone it would be known. I did get a chance to talk to USB. Apparently, whoa, oh, hey, it's a little yeah. old school. He's driving some. Uh, whoa, what is what is oh. USB? Is just insult to injury. I almost would rather see him get beat than see that happen again. Yes, Professor Professor Pepper is making him pay. Yeah, I just don't grind on a man for God's sakes. What? What He's are calling we calling for more? Professor Pepper is not done. I would not be surprised. Oh, oh. and now we've got blood. I yeah, love it. I, I like a two. I, oh, and was it two? No, he's a kick out. Just a two count. 
Uh, USB, uh, speaking of that mask, he, uh, a lot of people don't realize this. Uh, you know, had some quilt makers in the Amish country put that mask together. If you look at it, you you know, I mean, that mask would be, you know, as much in place, uh, say, like in a circus tent or, or perhaps a Wild West show a as nice it would on a right there. Right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm just saying that watching this beat down from Professor Pepper on USB, I'm starting to get a contact buzz from your alcoholism, to say the least. But I'm still enjoying uh, great action. USB is bleeding. Uh, Professor, oh, and again. It's, it's just, back and forth. Oh, oh again. My, why? He, the taunts is unnecessary. What, what, Pointing to his genitals. Is, it was, what is wrong with him? He's, win the match. Win the match, oh. for God's sake. Don't gyrate on a man when he's down. What's we wrong got a pin again after the, the old glory drop. Let's see if Professor Pepper can get something going. Apparently, USB was... was uh, taken out of wrestling for a while. Apparently vicious attacks by some Russians. Uh, Russians actually will be showing up in this tournament. Uh, Soviet Hammer going to be going up against Kilo Karl Kowalski a little bit later on. So, uh, Does anybody you, realize that his name is three guys in this I'm not sure where you're going with that. I, don't, I can't focus right. But USB still uh, entirely possible he will be seeing uh, going up against his nemesis later. And oh, again, Professor Pepper, maybe you should stick to the hot sauce challenges. Might be an idea for you there. I don't know. I enjoy the fact that both wrestlers are giving it their all. Or at least all they have in the tank, which is probably only beef jerky and, you know, whatever snacks we have in the back. But I must make a reference. There's a kid who has one leg in the front row who is trying to give their crutch to one of the wrestlers to use. I mean, you have to wonder what's wrong with you that you want to give away a crutch to let another man be. Oh, oh, it's, well, that oh, was it. Oh, did he just? What did he do? Did he just beat a man to death? It was a submission. Oh my God! USB pulls out a submission while we're sitting there looking at some dumbass with a crutch. What kind of bullshit matches are these? He needs to get his that stomach looked at. He might have a bleeding aneurysm. I don't know. I just. Oh, 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 wait. He's telling them that snitches get stitches. Watch out, referee. This guy's a nut. 